Hey, what's up everybody? Super excited today. We're going to be doing a conversion on a G35 to G37 like the title says. Super pumped. Finally going to fix the G35 that's in the back. It's been sitting in my backyard for like 2-3 months. So finally decided we're going to keep the car. I'm going to actually give it to my girl to fix. This project's probably going to be anywhere from 1000 to 1500 just because the donor car has a lot of good parts on it. And we're going to sell whatever we don't need like the transmission, the engine, the suspension on this car because the donor, the original car we don't need any of that stuff the miles are actually like 2,000 different on the car we're actually fixing so not too bad oh, sorry about the trash can in the background if you can hear that uh, I'll let that pass for a second but let me just show you the car we've taken off a couple of the parts of the original car the G35 that we're going to be fixing the parts we don't need I still have the trunk tail lights and a couple of the uh, other parts that we're going to be needing for the back I just took them off just in case um, I was going to sell them but uh, my donor car is actually a rear and hit that was perfect because none of the airbags deployed I did sell the the um, steering wheel airbag and the seat belts inside the car don't worry I still have the seat uh, I'm probably going to change the centerpiece too right here because this one's pretty dirty and the newer 2011 has a better center console right here so for the conversion basically everything everything fits on the car i'm not sure about the core support but i'm going to swap that out anyways because mine's the where you hold the headlight bracket it's broke so i'm going to change out the core support i'm going to have to take off this rear uh this reinforcement bar right here and um i'm going to switch over all the radiator the fans the shrouds or whatever they're called yeah shrouds and I need to change the, put some of the, like a hose I had here because I used it for a G37 uh, coupe and like a couple other parts I actually used for the G37 because it was a front end hit. But don't worry, we, everything on the other donor car is perfect for the front end. Everything is just going to swap over. I know the fenders are exactly the same. Um, um, everything pretty much bolts up, I know for sure. And uh, what else? so oh yeah let me show you the donor car <laughs> so here's the rear and hit on it right here pretty jacked up pretty jacked up really bad quarter panels just completely smashing on the side let me show you around the car so i'm i'm digging the front end on this one dude this one looks so much cleaner or better whatever you want to say or i say <laughs> But yeah, I'm digging the front end on this one. It looks newer. Definitely. Uh, let me show you inside the interior of the car. It's, this battery's dead. Let me try to see if I can get the key real quick. Open this thing. We got I just I um I got it yesterday and my brother-in-law actually put it in the back for me. The tow truck driver just dropped it off in the back. He's he actually this is like the first time I'm actually seeing it in the day. So here's the center console that I want to be change that I want to change. Much nicer. Uh, let me show you the invoice right here. What I paid for the car. This is that cool part right here. Is it show my dress? Oh, it doesn't show my dress. Okay. Okay. So here's all the fees right here. So two thousand one hundred twenty-three for the car. That's not including the towing. I paid like 100, 175 for the towing to get to my house. This is coming from Sun Valley to Whittier, California. So here's the back. Oh my God, look at that right there. <laughs> what the fuck? It's a condom, dude. What the hell? <laughs> got a lighter too right there. <laughs> oh, thanks, bro. <laughs> Damn, look at it. That rear and hit dude, like, just knocked the seat out. It's crazy. So none of the airbags deploy, look, perfect. I think I'm gonna be switching the steering wheel too because this one's a lot nicer. It's not as beat up as the other one. And I might change the gauges as well because the gauges look a little newer too as well. I'm gonna switch over all the doors because these doors are in pretty good shape. Mine, are, they got some dings in them and the passenger side's a little scraped up over there. Let me show it. See, pop the hood so I can show you. The motor is exactly the same for this one. The only thing, the only one I think that's different is the the 37 uh, coupes. 
This is a 37 too, by the way. If I didn't say that. <laughs> so the motor's the same for the other one I have over there. So I'm gonna have to take off a lot of these other parts right here. If you guys need any like um, any other parts that I'm not gonna be using on the car, hit me up. You know, I'll I'll definitely be selling some of these parts that I won't need. So uh, drop drop a message on the comment below and let me know if you need any parts. If you're in California, I'd be more than happy to help you out if you need a couple extra parts or quarter panel on the driver's side or something or a roof because uh, the whole shell I'm gonna just get probably toss it or cut out the quarter panel and save that but um yeah so i'm gonna start taking off some of the the junk that's in this other car the g35 i got some junk in here from the other owner uh, i got some shit in the back i think oh, the trash can sorry about the noise this one came with like beige sheets the 35 but the 37 has uh, black, so I'm definitely going to be doing that. This car is filthy, by the way. Need to clean everything out. These look a little different, too, in the back seats. So, but I might just keep these in here. But I'm going to change out all the doors, fine. Oh, my God. The noise. <sighs> yeah, definitely going to change out this, too. This is disgusting in here. I was gonna just get it like shampoo clean, but the other one's like in perfect condition. Just gonna swap it over and try not to get it too dirty to put in this one. You swap over a lot of parts. Missing a bunch of stuff that I use for the other 237 coupe. Cause everything in the tier is exactly the same besides the back seats. You could literally sit, fit everything. Oh, the front seats, they don't fit it either. I don't think, I don't think I've done that one before. I think that's why I took out the passenger seat. Look at my mess that I got going on back here. I got a freaking mess. I got a bunch of parts from like Subarus and Infinities and Evos and stuff that I need to get rid of. I just I really haven't had time to clean and work on cars. That's why I haven't posted in a while, guys. So I'm gonna start taking everything out and I'll try to fast forward through the video so you guys can see that. So guys, a uh, little progress update. Um, I've taken off the core support right here. It's plastic, if you guys didn't know. This one was all busted right here on the side. Uh, you can see over here, we we'll start putting on, taking off uh, some of the parts off of that other car, the donor car. And, um, you know, start putting them on. So I'm gonna start stripping this car. My battery's dead and I don't have a tripod to hold, prop this thing up so I could fast forward to the video, video so you guys can see me taking it all apart and stuff. But I'm gonna start taking off everything, the hood, fenders, everything. That's gonna be done up right now. So, uh, let me get to this, you know, because it doesn't take as long as the video scene. I mean, how did it say it? Uh, it's gonna take much more time than you guys think it is. <laughs> All right, guys. So I've taken off the hood, headlights, both fenders. That took about like an hour, a little over an hour, probably to take all that stuff off, or just about an hour on there. So that's the progress so far. And um, what else? I've put in. Uh, I put the new hood on the G35 as well. Ready? Yeah. Put the hood on there. It's coming along. Hey guys, so this is all the stuff. I got everything swapped pretty much over almost on the front end. Just need a couple, uh, the mud guards on the bottom. I got everything on the hood. Besides like this plastic I need to still tie down. That plastic. But I got pretty much everything on from the front we got both fenders and me clipping the side um, the side skirt I got the trunk on the tail lights I need to put on the chrome piece from that one this one right here onto this I need to put I need to buy a bumper still so need to look for that one I swapped the door over already it's door from the other car Having electronical issues with it though, it started like kind of smoking when I plugged it in. 
So I think I'm gonna have to take out all the door wiring and uh, put the old wiring in there. We got the airbag back in there. The some of these plastics right here I swapped over. They like said we're still gonna switch the center console over. Uh, this too I'm gonna switch. The other one looks nicer. And probably all the trim too. I don't know. Just to match the doors. Or just get from the other door, take this trim off. Put the carpet in. Might change this bottom C too, because that other one looks a lot newer than this one. You know, why not if I have the parts, right? I still need to put the um, seat belts in. And then the seat I need to put back in as well. A couple other little miscellaneous parts, but pretty much it's like almost done. I got it starting, but I do have a leak. One of the hoses was leaking, so I'm going to have to switch this hose back over. It's the uh, radiator hose that's on the bottom. I see that there's a little tear on it, so swap that over so if you guys are liking this video you know like comment subscribe you know comment down below if you want to leave a comment and i'll see you guys in the next video and hopefully that one will, will when the car will be done and have all the other parts installing see you guys in the next one